So if you're praying about something and waiting for God to act, today's verse will speak directly to your heart. My name is Craig Rochelle. I'm the pastor of Life Church, and the verse of the day is from Psalm chapter 40, when David said, I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. I love the metaphor David said he was stuck in a slimy pit pit of mud and mire. You might feel stuck right now, something that you can't get out of, and you may be able to relate to his feelings. Uh, For example, you might feel like you're stuck in a dead-end job, and you're waiting for God to answer your prayer for something different, or you're stuck in the same old negative thought pattern, or you're stuck maybe with the same physical problem, and whatever it is, you're praying, and you're believing God, and you're waiting. If you find yourself stuck, there's a few things to remember. The first thing I want you to remember is that while you're waiting, God is still working. While David was waiting, God was still working. And just because you don't see anything right now doesn't mean that God's not doing anything. Someone said that God's delays are not necessarily God's denials. While you're still waiting, God is still working. So don't waste your waiting. Don't just pray and like do nothing. If you're in a dead-end job and you're praying for something better, do your best, add value. Maybe take night classes or listen to a podcast to help you grow, do something. If you're stuck in the same negative thought pattern, pray and then actively take your thoughts captive. Hide God's word in your heart, let him renew your mind. If you have the same physical problem, pray and do whatever you're supposed to. Take your supplements or go to your next doctor visit or go to the gym. We're not gonna waste the waiting. Now, oddly enough, we have no idea how long David waited, but while he was waiting, God was working. And I love this. He said, I waited for the Lord, and then he turned to me, he heard my cry. I want you to know that God hears the cries of your heart. And what I love is that God is the one who lifted him out. David didn't have to climb out. God lifted him out. In the same way, he'll lift you out. He'll set your feet on the rock and give you a firm place to stand. So, My encouragement to you is keep praying, keep trusting, keep waiting, keep believing. God will hear your cry. He will lift you out. If it's not God's time, you can't force it. When it is God's time, you can't stop it. Amen. To God, Yahuwah, be the glory. Through Jesus Christ, Yahusha HaMashiach, my Lord. Amen.